hey guys, so as a football referee myself, we don't get the most respect from players and we get a fair bit of abuse. However, in rugby, it seems to be a different story. Let's find out. Oh, it's quite clear. Maul is formed, held up, unplayable. Straight so away. Look at them just forever. listening to him. I don't think we've met before, but I'm the referee on this field, not you. Stick to your job and I will do mine. If You're not I'm arguing going back. For anything again, I'm going to be penalising you. This is not soccer. Is that clear? Bucky, go and get on it again. I love that line. I love that line. It's not soccer. Just no answering back. No questioning everything. I'm sure the players do occasionally question the referee, but they don't mess with Nigel Owens. Space in which to maneuver as Glasgow are going to have to do some running repairs to Duplessis. <laughs> I, I certainly wouldn't let a, a football player rub their rub their rub their face on my top. Oh God, that would never happen. is very embarrassing and it is not needed in the game and we have a wonderful wonderful game of rugby and i will not let you spoil it last minute or not okay. now shake hands if you may please you don't want to that's fine it's up to you now we go back we get on with the game thank you sorry sorry i the fact they're saying sorry to the referee that doesn't mean the ball is out because you will pull him over so the ball won't be out so don't pull him over thinking you're exposing the ball i also love the fact that so if if in football you give a decision, you'll get players. Oh, why, why are you giving that? Why are you giving that? And as a referee, I would happily explain why I'm given a decision, as long as the time's right and we're not in open play. And they're listening. But quite often in football, if you explain, actually they're asking the questions, but they don't want to listen. And it, and it's brilliant here that they they're listening. They they're actually trying to find out. You know, and they're not answering back. They're not questioning anything. Or start of the season in that game I mentioned against the Ospreys here. Him off his feet. So this the rock is not over. Going through some of the, uh, he has to go off the ball himself, not being pulled over by you. I appreciate that it's just a missed timing and nothing very dangerous, and he won't deliberately try to do it. So it's a penalty only on this occasion, but you must be careful with the timing. Okay? Right, Tremendous so. commitment. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, this is a funny one um, when I'm refereeing football you certainly don't get called sir however quite often I do Southampton Academy games um, and quite often players from other countries especially players that come over from America um, or you get touring clubs coming from America they always say sorry or the, and you know they're always sorry, sir. They always call me sir, and I'm just thinking, I I'm not I've not been knighted. I I don't need to be called sir, and I love Nigel Owen's response there to being called sir. <laughs> <laughs> no I think that's the same reaction. <laughs> same same reaction if the ball hits you in football. Accidentally, obviously. And the footage that I've got there is you smack him on the head with the scrum cap when there's no need to do it, is there? So the player is going to go against you. You play as hard as you want, but you play fair and you play with yes, the volume yes, of the game. Yeah. Let that be the end of it, now, yes, please. Sir. Okay? Fair enough? Have a word with you. That's brilliant. Please. Just agreeing. Once the ball is available and you use your hands to get it back, the ball is not. Listen to me, please. I'm explaining to you. Use your hands to get it back, the ball is out. Use your feet. No, the ball is a bit. So this is proof, obviously, some players do answer back, but he's not the the the, the player there. He's not going into the referee's face. He's not um, trying to intimidate him. When the ball it's is such good control, players. Use it. 
You want to get that ball back through a long ruck, you use your feet, not your hands. If the ball is stuck in the bodies and you want to get it out, I'll allow that. But those balls are clearly available and you're using your hands. And once the ball is by the side of the feet, it is out. It has to be underneath the body. I have no idea what he's on about because I don't really understand the rules of rugby, to be fair. If it's not underneath the foot, the ball will be out. I don't care what it has been, that's I'm what I'm telling this. you. So listen, I've enjoyed I've explained you four times now. I won't be explaining again, okay? No, he wasn't. He's fine. No, he, he moved. Uh, Christopher? Thank you. Christopher. <laughs> I don't think you need to do that, okay? So I, I suggest that you want to do that. I'm embarrassed. Imagine all this way. He doesn't need to do that. I mean, you can celebrate, sure, but... Yeah. It's funny as well. It's almost... Nigel, Nigel Owens is telling the player to apologise. It's almost like speaking like a, to, to a child. But actually, it works. Because players are idiots. Same with football, players are idiots, and and you sometimes have to treat them like children. But then there's the times when Nigel Owens is, is speaking to him calmly, like an adult, and he gets the respect. The opposition feel like you're taunting them. I mean, pointing like that, that just doesn't come across well. I'm sure you're quite aware that is not acceptable and not in the spirit of the game. You do not shout when you charge down. We'll take it again, the charge on is now void. Oh, it's for the verbals. Al? When you go up in the air, they can't hold you up there. You've got to come back. No, no, you've got to come back down, okay? Don't, don't, don't look like that. No, no, no. If you're up in the air and you're staying up there too long, they've got to go up and you've got to bring you down. That's no excuse for you to take them out early. On this occasion, I'm just going to penalise you. Next time, if it happens, whoever's at fault will be dealt with more harshly. Okay? Yes, I know, but you were up there holding you up there. You go up and you come down straight away. That's the law. It's quite simple, OK? But I will deal with that issue. Oh, yeah, Dan, Dan. Why has he got a mobile phone? That's not something you see every day. Who's he speaking to? All three on the phone. And who exactly is he talking to? I'm confused. Front rows on the two captains, please. We will listen to Nigel. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> quite right, you do. I love how all the commentators as well know... But if you don't, you're in the wrong position. No, Nigel you're Owens and, and what he's about. Down, you're standing up. The next Look at these one big blokes just listening to him. You are going to go for ten minutes. You've all been at fault and you've had all at your final warning. Is that clear? Get on with it, please. And I just got to remember every one of them. If you don't like scrunching, you're in the wrong position. Yes. Just, I wish there was a quote book well, for Nigel okay. Owens. I'll, you do anything like that again, and you're going to go and sit for 10 minutes, OK? Just get on with your own game. Fine. Guys, man. Set. How many times have I refereed you? You don't understand me still? I'll shout louder then, okay? <laughs> it's brilliant because he knows that he knows when and how to speak to players differently. Sometimes he can speak to them sternly. Sometimes he can be jokey with them, and and he and he seems to know how they'll respond and what the best method is. Just so good, ref such good refereeing, or man management, should I say. Not, I'm not necessarily noticing the man, the actual refereeing, but it's the man management. It's fantastic. It's quite clear, no matter what the intention was, it's quite clear the ball is not in his possession, and you've taken him without the ball. So it's a penalty, and back you go. Thank you. That's the end of the matter. Back you go. A lot of penalties coming out. I was telling you it was a ball because the wheel was legal. He kicked it out to the scrub. If the, if the penalties continue, somebody's going to go. It's not going to be like this all through the game. I suggest you go and have a word and then you need to get the discipline in order. Off you go. We agreed before the game that we get out here, nobody's going to be calling for offside holding on. Somebody calls again, I'll be penalising it. This is not soccer. Is that clear? It's not go soccer. Yes, fine. It's, been it's, it's also fantastic the way what it does. Um, is he tells the captains what he wants, what they should do, and then it's up to them to, to tell the tell the um, the rest of their team, and that's fantastic. And and we try and do that in football. 
However, quite often you'll tell the tell the captains do this. Tell the tell your players that it's your job to relay. <laughs> do they tell the players? No, no, they don't. And then it escalates and it carries on. It's been just quit and I will deal with it. Thank you. Words here to Stuart Hawk. I was looking at it. He was committed in the air. There was nothing wrong with it. Drive the gun again and come back here in two weeks and play. Not today. Watch it. <laughs> play from five metres from their own goal line. Stop messing it. Oh, now it's never done. Mike Brown needs to walk away from this. You have to be careful. That might be worthy of a review. Handbags. Both went head to head with each other. <laughs> and that's perfect. You know, the odd bit of handbags, that's all it was. Both from being idiots. So if you're going to penalise them, you send both of them off, I assume. I said, I, I, I'm not familiar with the laws in rugby. But in football, you either send both of them off or you tell them, shut up, get on with it. You know, it's fantastic. Get everybody in here. Get everybody in here. Get everybody in here. <laughs> everyone. Let's have a chat, is it? When he says everyone, he means everyone. <laughs> Not just the forwards. I think he must be cold. <laughs> I don't like a big issue out of this, okay? I don't think the goalie in football would be happy having to run all the way up the pitch if you did this in football. It ends there. Is that clear? Your adults, you'll be treated like it. As long as you behave like it. <laughs> We're going to go back for the original penalty down there. Speak to me like that again, and you will take no part in this game. Yeah. Is that clear? The scrum was stationary squared. You delayed putting it in. That's why it's moved. That is the end of the conversation. Go back again. I don't want to hear anything more. Off you go. Go until I re you, you came from the side, and it's okay. a penalty with offside. Be very careful how you yes. come into the contact yes, area. Yes, okay? Yes, There's no need to call me Mr. Ref. That's fine. <laughs> Mr. Ref. <laughs> 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 oh, hello. Okay. 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 See Samson. And Captain, please. There. Yes. He's still suffering with that blood injury. The interesting see if he's allowed to stay on. Maybe three, maybe four scrums. Excellently. No problem. So you can do it. It's brilliant. How many players he gets calls in? I think it would just be They're all listening to you're him. You're not taking the contest. You're not listening to my calls. We go in. We set up. And we wait until the calls. And when the ball is in. Then you drive legally and we carry on. Do so you need to work hard on every scrum, please? Thank you. Well, it, it's it's amazing because the players listen. You know, yes, sometimes they argue back, but it's not intimidating. It's not jumping on on the referee. Now, granted, this is Nigel Owens. He's he's I I assume he's one of the best referees in 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 rugby. He he's earned the respect. He knows how to speak to players, whether it's said it's joking, jokingly, sternly. He, he can work out when to do what. Compare that with football. And it's, it, footballers, you know, are a disgrace compared to this. You know, these rugby players really show footballers up. So, and, and so you can certainly understand why football players get a bad rep. And they don't help themselves. You know, this is certainly where football needs to be you know, in, in terms of respect for the referee. Because as a referee in football myself, I certainly don't get the respect. <laughs> and during these lockdowns, I've certainly missed, actually, the grief, the grief of, from footballers. I have actually missed it. However, we shouldn't be having it. Um, let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. Don't forget, like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.